it's so lonely living in this big castle by myself. I'm starting to think I'll never find a princess. Oh no, Bonbon. Bon. Huh? What's this? Hey, I know! I'll have a tea party! Ah, there we go. Now I'll just ask Sebastian to get these invitations to the post office for me. Oh, what's this? I love food, and the best way to my heart is through my stomach. So make your best dish and impress me. I will be having a tea party here tomorrow at noon, and you can bring your dish then. Whoever has the best, most unique dish wins a date with me. Hope to see you there. Prince? A meal? Oh my goodness, I gotta get ready. I know just what I'm gonna make. Oh, I'm so excited. Huh? A royal invitation? But I rarely get any mail. What could this be for? <sighs> it's such a nice day for a walk. <sighs> Stand here and rest for a little bit. If I can't have him, then nobody will. Who are you? <laughs> Prince Emil. Oh, I've been your secret admirer for a long time. But it seems that I don't stand a chance with all these pretty girls competing for your love. Well, I heard you're having a tea party. And I plan to stop you from finding your princess. So I'm going to cast a curse on you. A curse so bad that no girl will want to kiss you, and you'll be forced to kiss me to break the curse. Zippity, hoppity, boop! What are you doing? <laughs> Perfect. Hey, wait, wait, you gotta turn me back. You can't just leave me like this. Oh, sorry, Prince, but your orders don't really work right now. You see, you're nothing but a frog. And I have to go get ready to be your princess. Doodle! I have to find a girl to kiss me. And fast. Sebastian, there you are. You gotta help me. It's me, Prince Emil. I was cast this horrible curse upon and, and I need your help, please. Oh, my, that's, that's not good. Okay, uh, I'll help you. Please, you gotta help me. Okay, calm down. Calm down. That's funny. Calm down. You're telling me to calm down. Oh, well, that's easy for you to say, because you're not a gross frog. Look, we'll still have the tea party, it'll be fine, and we'll just explain it to them. They'll understand, I'm sure, and then you could find a girl to kiss you, and, uh, true love will break the curse, and, uh, yeah, you'll be back to a prince, and you can go on your lovely date, whatever, and she'll be your princess, and la 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 la, happily ever after. You make it sound so easy. But do you really think anyone is going to want to kiss these gross, slimy frog lips? It'll be fine. Trust me. <sighs> oh, Prince Emil, I'm ready for that kiss. Oh, dear. What will I wear and what will I make? This is the only dress I have. I'm all ready. <sighs> this isn't fancy, but... I guess it'll do. <sighs> oh, I'm so worried. What if they get here and I scare them away? Oh! The royal tea menu! Hmm, 
special dish, Prince Emile's strawberry shortcake. That must be it. Place this down here. Huh. Oh, so Prince Emil has a pet frog. I didn't know that. Oh, hello there. Huh? You talk. Well, you see, I was turned into a frog by a witch. I have a lot of explaining to do. I'll explain once everyone gets here. Uh, okay. Wow, look sis, that looks delicious. Yeah, it does. Wow, it looks like we'll be enjoying a delicious crumb dinner tonight. Mmm. <laughs> <sighs> the rest of the guests should be here soon. Okay. Oh, this place is really fancy. I really feel like I don't belong here. Oh, what's this? The royal tea menu. Hmm. Hmm, special dish, Prince Emile's strawberry shortcake. That sounds so delicious. It's nothing compared to what I brought. Wow, that must be a picture of his shortcake. Ah, uh, uh, hi. I'll just put these over here. Oh, hello there. Uh, hi. Uh, Yes, I know, this is kind of strange. I'm a talking frog. Look, I'll explain once everyone gets here. Okay. <laughs> well, this should be interesting. Now I'll just wait for that stupid tea party to be over, and Prince Emil will be all mine. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian, and I'll be your butler slash waiter today. First on the menu is finger sandwiches, banana chips, and crack. Alright everyone, now that you're all here, I have a confession to make. I... I'm... I'm Prince Emil. I'm not his pet frog. I'm him. I was turned into a frog. I was cast a curse upon by a witch. And the only thing that can break the spell is true love's kiss. So I'm hoping that one of you can help me break that curse. Appetizers are served. I hope you enjoy. Delicious. Hmm. Vanilla chai tea. Hmm. Delicious. And dessert is served. Hmm. Behold, Prince Emile's famous strawberry shortcake. Mmm, wow! Oh my gosh, that looks so delicious! Wow, 
That's the best strawberry shortcake I've ever tasted. Right? It's so good. All right. Now that we're all done, it's time to test your desserts. Sebastian! Bring them out, please! Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope he likes mine. Yeah, me too. Psst. Hey, did you see that girl's dress? It's so embarrassing. It looks like a tablecloth. <laughs> You're right, it does. Hey, good luck to you. May the best dish win. Oh, thanks. Yeah, good luck to you too. Oh, I'm so nervous. First we have Kirsten's Pumpkin Spice Cupcakes. Mmm, that looks delicious. Hop. You know, I've actually never had pumpkin spice cupcakes before. I really like that. Very unique and very delicious. Good job, Kristen. And now for Camille's flan. Mmm. Smells really good and looks really good. Wow, well, I must say, that was quite the delicious dish, Camille. Thank you so much. Hmm, this is going to be a tough decision. None of those girls are going to want to kiss him. Look at him, he's a yucky frog. If I didn't know he was a prince, I wouldn't kiss him either. <laughs> so does the winner have to really kiss him? I mean, ew. He's a frog. All right, you gotta help me make this decision. Uh, sure, I mean... I mean, I think I know who I'm going to choose. But I just need... I need your consent. Okay, well... I think those pumpkin spice cupcakes looked and smelled pretty darn delicious, if you ask me. That's exactly what I was thinking. While well, the other desserts were good too, but something about those pumpkin spice cupcakes. They're just so unique tasting, so exquisite. I've never had anything like them. You know, I actually snuck a peek because they were just so delicious smelling. I couldn't resist. And you're right. They really are exquisite tasting. Oh, they were so delicious. Okay, okay. I think I know who I'm going to choose. Come with me. <clears throat> All right, ladies. So I've decided on a winner. This was a very tough decision because all of your dishes were just so delicious. But there was one, there was one specific one that just stood out because it was so unique and so exquisite tasting. And that was Kirsten's pumpkin spice cupcakes. Huh? Mine? Are you sure? I mean... Oh, I'm most definitely sure. Even Sebastian agrees. You know, he snuck a little taste when he was in the kitchen. But I just... Ah, they were so good. They were just so, so good. I, I really want to go grab seconds right now, but... I must celebrate with you. You are the winner. And... I guess that means you get to kiss me. You will kiss me, right? Uh, um, wow. No, he's choosing the winner. I must go. I must go crash this tea party now. <laughs> well, Kirsten, it's up to you. It's up to you to break the curse now. Well, um... 
Kiss me! Kiss me! Ah! Ah! Prince Emil. Oh my. Wait a second. I'm... I'm still not a prince. She didn't break the curse. That must be. Because it's not true love. I didn't even think of that. Of course she can't break the curse. <laughs> Of course she can't. Only someone that I'm in love with can break the curse. And Kirsten, I think that's you. Oh. Kirsten, will you be my princess? Please. Wait, what? You have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Princess, your Prince Charming has finally arrived. Uh, Prince Emil. Oh, that's it. I'll show them. I'll find a curse so horrible to cast on him that, that nothing will destroy it. Uh, bye, Prince Emil. Congratulations, Kirsten. Thanks, Camille. Your flan was delicious. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> Thanks. Good luck. Bye, Prince Emil. Thanks for inviting me. Sure. Thanks for coming. Congratulations, Kirsten. Thanks. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. My whole plan's ruined. Can't believe it. I am proud to pronounce you Prince Emil and Princess Kirsten. Welcome to the royal family, Kirsten. Hey, sis. I think they're gone. You're right. This is our chance. Crumbs, yay!